Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And my subject today is the Nagas. Naga is a very, very interesting Sanskrit word. It can mean many things, including an elephant, um, a particular type of vine, a particular flower, the metal lead, and it also means an ethereal race uh, of beings who, uh, when they appear on earth, often appear as snakes, as reptiles. Um, and the Nagas have been mentioned in Indian tradition for many thousands of years. There are many Naga temples all over India, um, in particular in the southwestern state of Kerala, where uh, there are uh, a number of um, Naga shrines. And um, the Nagas that we are interested in are the Nagas that are in service to the great Devatas. For example, um, Lord Shiva always has a Naga around his neck. Ganesh has a Naga, sometimes around his belly, sometimes elsewhere. Um, Lord Vishnu uh, reclines on the ocean of milk on the thousand-headed Naga known as Ananta or Shesha. Even Lord Buddha, when he was working his way towards enlightenment, had a Naga king come and shield him with his hoods so he would be protected from the elements. Um, so the Nagas are said to be an astral race who sometimes appear on earth. And of course, as with all kinds of um, other uh, uh, beings in other realms, some are better and some are not so good. So we want to certainly encourage the ones that are good. And it is reported even in Indian mythology that uh, sometimes the various, there may be factions among the Nagas. In fact, Takshaka, who was the Naga who killed uh, Parikshit Raja, <clears throat> for whom the Srimad Bhagavata was told, um, that Naga, Takshaka, uh, is said to be an enemy of Shesha Naga. And Shesha certainly is the paramount king of the Nagas because he is the most benevolent. He has worked with Vishnu for so long. Um, and it's also important to remember that within us, we have the Kundalini Shakti, which is a serpent energy. And it is up to us to determine whether we want that energy as it awakens to move in a more benevolent and cooperating with the Devatized direction or a more rep. Uh, more classically reptilian and cold and unemotional and self-centered reality. So the Nagas, this Naga concept, this Naga reality is very complex, very difficult to grasp, very difficult to comprehend, but certainly not at all difficult to access as long as you access it in the context of one of these extremely supreme devatas. So, salutations to the Nagas.